Okay, so we're heading in the backyard. I got the key. <laughs> there it is. Hey everyone, I'm astronomer John Reed. Now, eight years ago, I was in finance and accounting at the Clorox company in California, but then I quit my job to study astronomy full time. I've always wanted my own observatory to directly share the night sky with the world. And now we're about to make that dream a reality. We purchased the Abbey Ridge Observatory, complete with a 10 foot dome, a C14 telescope, and the building itself. Our goal is to move all of that from Stillwater Lake, Nova Scotia, about 30 miles away, to the top of this rock here at Stargaze, Nova Scotia. Join us in this multi-part series as we resurrect this observatory. This is Learn to Stargaze. We may need to cut the pier out of the building, so we're gonna bring a few things with us. We've got a reciprocating saw, a bunch of drill bits, a rock drill, uh, and some WD-40. So far, we've hired an architect. We've got a development agreement in with the city. We've got permits out uh, for the building and we just got that permit approved. The development agreement is still in progress, but we do have permission to build the building. We've also done a traffic analysis, a wetland survey, and a stormwater abatement plan. We are ready to move this observatory. What can I get for you? I'll get a medium double cream, two Boston cream donuts. Uh, what were the donuts you said? Boston creams. Chocolate dip? Boston creams. Okay, so we're heading in the backyard. I got the key. Pretty excited here. There it is. Okay, let's get this dome open and then we can take the tarp off. All right. Okay, and there it is. <laughs> Celestron C14 telescope. Abbey Ridge Observatory, or ARO, is not just any ordinary observatory. It was built by Dr. Dave Lane, the director of the Burke Gaffney Observatory, or BGO. Dave used this telescope as a template for BGO, making both Abbey Ridge and the Burke Gaffney Observatory the very first social media controlled telescopes. People from around the world could use these telescopes for free by sending simple requests via social media like Twitter and Facebook and a few others. The telescope would then wait for the next clear night, capture the image, and tweet or post it back to the requester. And these weren't just pretty pictures. Astronomers globally used these telescopes for real science, such as confirming exoplanets using the transit method and observing variable stars for the AAVSO. Now, earlier this year, Dave passed away from a rare form of brain cancer. The university awarded him an honorary degree just before he passed, honoring him for his foundational work in the field. Now, Dave wrote much of the software that governs the automation of robotic telescopes, allowing students and researchers access to the universe with minimal barriers to entry. If it weren't for Dave, the Burke Gaffney Observatory wouldn't have been the observatory that it is today. It's those new stories and, and, and what Dave brought to this telescope that brought me back into astronomy, that brought me back uh, to Halifax where I got my astrophysics degree. And it was Dave that actually got me the job at the observatory as a telescope operator and a lab instructor. My hope is that we can maintain Dave's legacy through the Abbey Ridge Observatory. We're gonna keep the Abbey Ridge name and we're gonna return this telescope to its original capabilities and more. All right, so last time we were here, we started labeling some of the things. And so now when we take it all apart, we'll know where it goes and we put it back in. At least that's the plan. What we've got to do today is get this uh, telescope off and get it into the bin. All right, so those are gonna to have to be loosened and then hypothetically it should slide out. These should turn and that should be how it opens. But these haven't been turned in a long time. I think they're just seized. I think we just need more torque. 
A rat's nest. Oh, that smells so bad. Oh, God. Vice grips. We're in the backseat of the car. Hey, your turn. Okay, that one's loose. Now, unfortunately, we were not able to get an official sponsor for this video. So I'm gonna use this time to tell you about our stargazing guidebooks, which are effectively funding this project. Two of our latest books, 110 Things to See with a Telescope and A Kid's Guide to the Night Sky, were recently picked up by a publisher called Sourcebooks. And these books will be available October 1st, 2024, but can be pre-ordered anytime. My earlier books, such as the best-selling 50 Things to See with a Telescope for Kids, are available on Amazon. All of these books are designed to make stargazing as simple as possible. Simply open the book to the current season, then go out under the night sky and find the objects with the appropriate tool, whether that's a telescope, binoculars, or just your eyes. For a list of all my stargazing guidebooks, visit learntostargaze.com. Now, back to the observatory. last bolt which we're doing with these which are not the right size because our socket set doesn't go up to one and one eighth just one okay let's get this last bolt All right, so quick update, we got the mount off. Now it is time to get this pier out of here. So we're gonna do all the wiring later. So we need to move this out of the way, expose the bolts in the floor for the pier and uh, get this out of here. Wish us luck. There we go. It's not moving. The old foot method. <laughs> I'm guessing this weighs about 200 pounds. <laughs> but we got her. Look at that. Okay, so that was about three hours of work. We are tired, but it was worth it. We got the telescope off, we got the mount off, and we got the pier off the concrete pillar into the ground. And uh, so the next step is we're gonna take some measurements to the dome, make a base for it over at Stargaze, Nova Scotia. And, um, and then it'll be time to move the dome. Hey everyone, thanks for being a member of the End of the Video Club. As you may know, watching to the end of a YouTube video really helps us out as creators, allowing this video to be shown to more people. If you'd like to get advance notice of upcoming live streams and upcoming releases of our stargazing guidebooks, be sure to sign up for our mailing list at learntostargaze.com. Once you sign up, you'll get a note from me and a free stargazing logbook to track your progress. Now be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next videos in this series. And remember, the future is looking up.